guys, welcome to the vlog. So today what we're gonna be focusing on is cutting longer hair. I've got a live model. She's got super long hair and it's really, really fine. So I wanna show you guys how to build volume, keep the structure in the base, and then we're gonna do a really cool blowout with a round brush at the end. So this video is packed with tips I think you guys are gonna use right away in the salon. Hope you like the video, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off our sectioning. Now the sectioning is very simple for this cut because uh, our model has fine hair. So I go around, I go right along the parietal ridge, then I do a straight line just to cut off mid crown, and then I go back down parietal ridge, creating a rectangle shape on the top of the head. I twist that away, we call that a Zulu knot. Uh, twist it away and I put a clip in it, keep it nice and tight. That is actually the most important section that we're gonna cut today. Now, what I go through and when I cut the underneath, because she has really fine hair, you can see that's all the density that she has. Sorry that the camera angle is a little dark, um, but just know that I'm cutting a direct, like a straight line in the back of her head shape. So nothing complicated here, just combing everything nice and clean. Make sure that you do multiple different passes with the comb, especially when you're combing everything down and cutting it to make sure that you have all the hair. So I cut a nice flat blunt line in the back. Now I don't wanna layer any of that uh, underneath hair because of the fact that it's so fine already. So if I layer that, I'm gonna take the density away and it's gonna look really stringy in the end result. So now I focus on my rectangle. What I do is I take horizontal sections across the top. I make sure I stay right on that parietal ridge area. I bring it down and then I give it a twist at my desired length. So what I want to do is create kind of a little face frame um, technique or face frame uh, for her just to give her that volume, that movement. And I wanted to keep it a little bit longer to keep that density. With fine hair, I don't want to go too short right here in the face frame area. So I bring the hair down. And then the reason I do that little twist with my finger, which is going to create a really nice round softness to the layers, help it kind of follow the head shape. Um, so I continue that all the way through that top section, over directing everything to that stationary guide. Now, Paul Mitchell sent me these Magic Tide collections. You can get in Paul Mitchell salons now. So I'm going to choose a few products from that. I'm also going to add in the Thicken Up, which is a styling liquid that we're going to place in the hair to create that volume and really blow up that cuticle. Also, Danielle's doing the blow dry. And what I want you guys to really focus on is her elevation when she does her round brushing. So she's got the Paul Mitchell Neuro blow dryer. It's the Halo blow dryer. I've done a review of that if you guys are wondering. And this is the Ergo round brush. So I love the Ergo round brush for um, the quickness of it. It's got a really large barrel and a large handle. It's also got really nice grips on it. So if you have product on your hands, you don't slip. I love these round brushes. They are available on Free Salon Education. Com. So Danielle's going through, she's blow drying everything back, but she's also working to get a lot of movement and flexibility um, in the hair. So you'll see her, she kind of works the... Um, the truck and trailer method with the blow dryer. So she's got the nozzle uh, right up to the to the brush. She lifts the hair to give it that elevation and she'll do the front half of it. And then she also goes through and hits the back. But the last pass she does with the brush is always the one that she, the direction she wants the hair to go. So the last pass is always gonna be uh, kind of round brushed back. The one thing I really want you guys to get out of this video is the fact that I did kind of, uh, I brought everything forward to cut it, to create the layering. I wanted to create a face framed effect. Bring everything forward and cutting it makes it shorter in the front, longer towards the back. So it pushes those layers a little bit longer, a little higher density in the back for the fine hair. And then when Danielle goes through and she round brushes, she's mimicking my haircut. So she's basically taking everything and blow drying it off of the face because that's how we wanted the haircut to be. So you can see, you can see all the layers, the movement, um, the body that we're putting into it, but this isn't how it should end, guys. If you just wanted to do a round brush, you can do it, uh, but we wanted to go through and do a curling iron because of the fact that when you have fine hair and you want body, then you need to go through and add a little bit of wave to it just to build it up even more. So you can see that that haircut definitely helped. It was definitely an assistant to the fact that she has fine hair, but it's not the it's not the complete answer in a haircut. It's all about how you style the hair. So Danielle goes through, same thing. She works the iron. This is a one inch uh, curling iron and she's working it back off the face as well. She goes through, she curls it, now it's pretty tight curls. And if you uh, are a product of, let's say the 
80s or anything like that. Tight curls might freak you out. The cool thing about this style, when I was watching Danielle, at the very end, she goes through with this brush. She goes, uses a paddle brush, and she brushes through the hair, and it really just brings the style to life. You can see the haircut come to life. And also, we did color uh, her hair as well. So Brian did a color on her. That's going to be a separate video coming out soon. So you guys will get to see uh, that transformation as well. But you can see what the waves do, how much volume we get with this style. I hope you guys like the video. Definitely let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you liked this video, then make sure you hit the like button, share this video with all of your hairdresser friends, and if you're looking to upgrade your tools, be sure to go to freesaloneducation.com. You can get the scissors I use, the combs, the clips, the brushes, everything pretty much that we used in this video, you can purchase on the online store. So go over there and also use the code MattBeckVlog at checkout and you'll get 20% off any of your purchase over $100. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video more to come. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.